How easy is it to run DeepSeek on a Raspberry Pi? The result might surprise you. When we're connected to the internet, we'll open a terminal and install curl. Once we do that, we'll then go ahead and download and run the old llama installer. I'll leave these commands in a comment down below, but now's also probably a good time to put an actual heatsink on your Raspberry Pi if you haven't done so yet, since as you can see here, no external GPU is detected, so we're going to be leveraging our CPU. And just like that, we can use Olama to download and run a DeepSeek model of our choice. Now, these are all distilled models, obviously, so this is a 1.5B model that I'm downloading first. And now, three commands later, we're using DeepSeek. I'll even turn off internet so you can see that this really is local, and I'll also measure the temperature of the CPU in this top left line graph. But here, we can go ahead and type in a message. I'll do the classic, if a farmer has 11 chickens and all but three of them die, how many are remaining? We'll give it some time to think, but we actually see that it gives us the wrong answer. So let's go ahead and see if this Raspberry Pi can handle a larger distilled model. We'll, we'll go ahead and download the 8B version, and if we give it the same exact question, uh, this is quite a bit slower. I have sped up the footage, but at the end of it, we do see that we get the correct answer. It really is that simple to use.